Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Frankie's Tarot. This is Frankie and this is your February 2024 weekly tarot reading. All about you, your general and love energies, the current person on your mind, any new love potential coming your way. And I always get a quick message for you in each zodiac sign, Aries through Pisces. And a bonus yes, no question at the end. So get your questions ready. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And you know, it helps my channel grow, but also happy birthday. It's still your birthday. This has been the longest Aquarian season. Um, I've been saying that. It feels like it's been, I've been saying happy birthday to you for quite some time. Um, but let's take a look at how this week is for you. And, and we did just go through Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day if I didn't see you on my live. Um, but let's see if you're getting some wishes. Look at this Six of Cups energy, right? Feeling the love this week, turning over a new leaf, maybe some forgiveness, six of swords. All right. So it looks as though you might be moving forward here, making some new memories, right? Or um, trying to get back to the way things were, you know, reminiscing. Maybe some of you are in this mode of reminiscing about the past, right? The six of the cups can be a nostalgic type of energy. You know, maybe there's some forgiveness there, or maybe this is about you forgiving some of the choices that you've made in the past. Maybe this is about focusing on the good times instead of the bad times, right? But this, you know, internally, it could be you just really reminiscing over your memories and or, mem or reminiscing over somebody that you love or miss. Maybe it's about you moving on from, from this and maybe you're turning over a new leaf. This could be about you reconciling with your past and getting ready to go on a new journey with the Six of Swords energy. You know, and again, it's the same energy that shows maybe you and a person that you love can go back to the good old days, you know, can reminisce, can sit down and reconcile, can talk about turning over a new leaf. And can we, can we move forward? Can we, you know, make new memories? Can we start fresh, right? That's that kind of energy. Opportunity this week and also obstacle, I always see this second card as both, is the justice card. So fairness, truth, being honest, right? The justice card can be showing um, a closure of a contract. It can be showing finally finalizing, and, and that could be also signing a con, you know, starting a new soul contract, right? You know, a commitment, divine love, right? So, but the thing is, is the justice card in the obstacle position can show not speaking your truth, not stepping up and being truthful. Maybe some of you are ready to move on um, or don't want to move on. It can be either or, but it's about being honest with your partner about what it is that you really want, Right. In order for two people to move forward, we need the truth. We need justice. We need fairness. All right. You may be failing, you know, with the justice in reverse that something's not something's not right. Something doesn't feel fear. You may be feeling like somebody's doing you wrong um, with that justice card. So there's an opportunity this week to get the truth. Right. Get the truth out of a situation. What you don't see coming is the nine of pentacles. I'm feeling some of you are moving towards your independency. Some of you are moving towards freedom. Some of you are stepping up and into your confidence. Uh, the nine of pentacles is somebody who's very independent. Uh, so it, it's always my single person working and doing their thing. It seems as though some of you may be, you feel like you've been, you know, you're being honest with yourself. Maybe a situation is closing. Maybe a soul contract is. Um, but can we take the good memories and move forward? Um, maybe, maybe you have moved on and now you're reminiscing and you're wanting to reconcile with somebody. Maybe this is a week where you're stepping into your truth. Are you just kind of in this nine of pentacles energy where, you know, you've been single or you are single and you're free, but now you're starting to question whether or not you should have, um, whether or not you should go back, right? That could be a sign of this energy as well. What spirit wants you to know is the queen of wands. This is your time. This is your time to step up into your power. This is your time to be confident. This is your time to take action. This is your time to shine. All right. Um, the nine of pentacles and the queen of wands can be shown. This is a really good time for you to be prosperous. It's a really good time for you to become independent, even start your own business, start a new business. 
And the justice card is also about business, right? So if this is nothing to do with love, this is just all about you, you know, the six of cups turning over a new leaf in your life. Maybe some of you are coming out of um, a lot of stress financially and you're feeling like, I, I don't know what to do. It just seems like um, I'm not lucky or, or things haven't been fair for me when it comes to finances and business. And then the justice card this week, opportunity for you to step up and see your truth truth and become more confident in your skills with the nine of pentacles, right? Because this is a very good week for some of you to start um, or venture out, you know, be confident and take action, inspired action with the queen of wands and maybe take on more responsibilities this week and get, and get shit going. All right. Become very independent um, with yourself. This could also be enhancing your connection with the person that you love. All right. Maybe this is about you, you know, just kind of doing your own thing this week and focusing on yourself, focusing on your career work and, and, and self-confidence. Right. And it's bringing in this turning over a new leaf with a partner that you're in a connection with. Anything else? Spirit wants you to know the eight of pentacles. You have a skill that that you have mastered. You have a skill that you are just so you know, it can bring you lots of money. You have the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. You're a very hard worker and you've been working really hard with something. And now it's time for you to step your game up and see where it takes you, right? This, if you are working on a business or you've been working really hard, this could be where you get some sort of, um, you sign some sort of contract or you have some sort of change when it comes to success in your money and career. All right, we will take a look at love because the Six of Cups usually shows, um, love, you know, obviously love reconciling or coming together with a soulmate. But this read here feels like it's it's a you moving up and stepping up into your power and you becoming more independent, all right, and more self sufficient. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to move on from a person with this with this energy. Let's see what love says for you rekindle though so we do got to rekindle energy and we have the six of cups so every relationship has a magical moment that can be rekindled so the six of cups can be talking about focusing on the good old days focusing on what brought you together focusing on the love that you guys shared the memories that you have the past that you have even if it was just a couple dates it's still a memory right and so this could be a week too with if there was any kind of confusion or frustration in a love relationship because the six of swords is moving on from the five of swords where it just feels like no matter what you say or what's going on you guys can't seem to see eye to eye or there's always frustration confusion arguing it just seems like a no-win situation well this shows here that you could be moving past that but it's by remembering why you like each other right without any expectations and any judgments placed on one another. So you could be rekindling relationship this week. It could be somebody that you've dated in the past. It could be somebody that you're in a relationship with. It's been a long time and you're, you're just wanting to see, you want it to come back together. All right. So let's see this part. Let's see this person. I'll see the current person on your mind. And then I will look at new possible potential that you might not even see coming coming into your life all right the ten of pentacles you got somebody who works really hard takes care of a lot of responsibilities takes care of home family um, very dedicated, very hard work in earth energy, queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody who's very loving, nurturing, supportive, responsible, caring, uh, mama bear, mama bear, papa bear. All right. Ten of wands, though. They're burnt out. They're stressed out. They've reached a breaking point. All right. It's ten of wands. They can't seem to carry any more. They cannot carry any more when it comes to the Ten of Wands. All right. You got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. This is somebody that 
um, you know, is very dedicated, very hardworking, very, um, very supportive, very loving. Could be a parent. Could they could have a, they could have children, all right. But the Ten of Wands is showing somebody who just feels like, you know, it's it the hardest part. Like we've it's been so hard. It's been really really hard, and they need they need a break, all right. They need something to give. The way they see you, Six of Cups. You know, you remind them whether it is that Six of Cups again. You guys have a lot of good memories together. Maybe you guys grew up together. Maybe you guys uh, remind each other of somebody that you grew up with. Maybe you just have fun together. They might even view you as somebody that they can start fresh with, right? Maybe they're done with something in their life and they want to start fresh again. They want to make new memories. So this could be a week where this person, I mean, there's obviously mutual attraction. There's mutual respect. There's there's forgiveness, right? There's a sense of we we just have this deep bond that can we forgive, can we can we turn over, or can we start fresh, right? And this person may also be seeing you as somebody new in their life that they can build a bond with, right? The six of cups, ten of wands can be showing like if you're coming from a place of five of swords energy, why you've been confused or why it seems like there's been a lot of disagreements or disappointment. This person is dealing with a lot of stuff, a lot of weight on them. Six of cups though shows that they definitely maybe see a possibility of making some new memories with you. All right. So there could be some reconciling or forgiveness this week for whatever's happened in the past, like the last week or so or whatever. All right. It seems as though, um, They'd rather focus on the good memories than the bad memories, All right? The Knight of Pentacles, All right? So this is slow moving progress, but it's moving in the right direction. This is somebody that really wants to work towards building something, um, seeing where something goes. They're very, very serious energy, very hard work and energy. But the potential of this relationship is to build something strong for the future. The Ten of Wands and the seven of cups. All right. So there could be your person's working really hard on bringing their dreams into a reality. They could be very, very, um, they could be in their head. They could be uncertain about what to do. Maybe they're making an important decision with the 10 of wands. Um, it's like they're at a breaking point and they have to make an important decision in their life. They, they could be feeling like they're on, they're all over the place. They obviously, um, have a lot of love, for you or are interested in you, they just may have to make a lot of choices in their life right now. And it seems as though the Six of Cups, they're making some sort of choice this week and to come into balance with you and work things out. All right, the Seven of Cups might feel, this person may feel like you need more or expect more from them than they can give or that you give. Sometimes when the Seven of Cups shows up, it shows up as an energy of placing too many expectations on somebody and not giving enough to them. All right. And so if this person's the 10 of wands and the seven of cups, they may be feeling like um, they can't meet your expectations or, or they can, it's too hard to meet your expectations. And the seven of cups is, can we come back to a, a balance with the six of cups? So we need an equal give and take here when it comes to this relationship. All right. And so it kind of does make sense where it's shown in yours. Maybe it's about you focusing on you a little bit more and some of your independency or um, your financial and um, and being a little bit more being more independent than being. So this can show up. I'll break it down like this. It can show up as if this is a newer relationship and somebody is a hard worker and has a lot of responsibilities and they can't give you all the attention that you want or you expect. This is going to be about you focusing on being a little bit more independent and so that you guys can value the time that you guys do have together. If this is a relationship that you're in, somebody may be feeling like you're not pulling the weight and you place too many expectations on them and they need you to step up to relieve some of those burdens that's on their shoulders. Right. Because there are a lot of good memories of the, the mutual attraction here, mutual love for each other. And there's room for forgiveness here. And there's room to bring things into a balance and move things forward with that Knight of Pentacles. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I do see a promise of an, you know, 
uh, commitment, a long-term commitment here. So it can you can work things out and rekindle that magical moment that brought you guys together. So let's see any new person potential that you might not see coming into your life. person that might surprise my Aquarians. All right, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The Tower card, Aries, Scorpio energy. Ooh, there's some Tower moment coming in, some unexpected change. All right, Three of Swords. The Hermit card. There could be an unexpected break happening in your life or in somebody else's life that's coming towards you. The Tower card can be a breakup, the Three of Swords, obviously. It could be somebody going through a disappointment coming into your life. Uh, the Hermit card is being alone. And so there's somebody who may be going through, through a, a really hard time in their life. Um, they could be leaving somebody or, and this can also be, you know, this could be a mirror of what's going on with you too as well. The Three of Swords, the Tower card, the Hermit card, and kind of hanging out there. Maybe you've been on your own for a while, or maybe you're embarking on a new journey. But there's an unexpected, maybe Virgo, Aries, or Scorpio coming into your life that might be at the same place that you're at. All right, I do have the Seven of Wands. And so it's going to be your guards may be up. This person's guards may be up. They may be a little bit defensive and... Um, and it's just going to be about pulling down the guards, peeling the layers of the onion when this one comes in. The moon card could be a Cancer or a Pisces energy. It seems as though there could be an unexpected person coming into your life, but you may be slightly on guard and or defensive or a little bit afraid with the moon card because there's an uncertainty about this person that's coming in. All right. It seems as though that they are recovering or they've been on a long journey since maybe losing something in their life. Uh, the three of swords and the tower card could be losing a home, losing a job, losing uh, a relationship, losing their mind. All right. Felt I've been there. <laughs> all right. So the seven of wands shows somebody who's very defensive on guard at first. Right. But the moon card is showing that this could be seeds that have been planted. You may have manifested the one to come into your life. and But there's a lot of fear around it with that moon card, um, fear of the unknown. So I am seeing, you know, the queen of swords here is an Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. Um, and it could be about... Uh, you opening up a little bit. It could be you that's on guard. The reason why I'm seeing that is because when I saw that, I thought of you. Um, but allow this love to come in because there could be something beautiful manifesting for you with this relationship. It may, it, I was just about to say, it may start off slow. It may feel like a friend at first. It may feel like it's new. Um, and it may feel like there, because I'm not seeing any cups. I'm not seeing this like strong, passionate, romantic energy. You're seeing somebody here who's trying to rebuild something, who's moving really slow, who just really wants to get to know you. But the Page of Pentacles is a solid new beginning. It's somebody that will take one step at a time and move forward. And this could potentially manifest into something beautiful. I mean, the moon card is our subconscious thoughts and it's the fears of the unknown, but it's also um, our dreams manifesting. Right. So keep that in mind. It could be a younger person than you. It could be a Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, and it could be a Taurus or a Capricorn as well to Cancer Pisces. But let's see Aries through Pisces for you. Aries through Pisces. My camera keeps moving up. It's not very stable. I feel like it went up about an inch. Right. Aries through Pisces. Aries, the two of pentacles. They need to make a decision, right? They may be juggling a lot in their life right now. 
um, and they're just trying to hang on there. But, you know, there, there's a way. Be flexible. Be adaptable to the changes with an Aries. Taurus, Ace of Wands. All right. So there could be reigniting passion um, or there could be new passion, new, new Taurus coming into your life. All right. It seems as though the spark is there. You could be re-sparking things. Gemini, Knight of Cups, right? Could be a romantic date coming in, them expressing their feelings for you. They definitely have deeper feelings for you than maybe that you know or 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 have been unaware of that they're going to um, definitely shock you with. Cancer, Seven of Cups, right? They need to make a decision. They may feel like they can't meet your expectations. Leo, Four of Pentacles, all right? They're holding back, all right? They're focused. They want things to be their way. They might be focusing a lot on their their finances and their life right now and and, and not really feeling um, the romance right now. But the Four of Pentacles is showing that they're, they haven't let go of this connection, all right? So hang on with a Leo. Virgo, Seven of Pentacles. They're trying to reevaluate the situation and take a moment to analyze whether or not this block between you and them is one that you guys can get over or have you wasted too much time already? Libra, all right, Five of Swords. They feel deceived or they feel like you keep blaming them or arguing with them or playing games with them. Scorpio, the high priestess, right? Very intriguing, right? Uh, very, um, they might be holding back. They might have pushed back on you. They might be lurking in the background um, because they're studying you. They're trying to, they're trying to figure you out. Maybe you know, that's a Scorpio energy, right? When they're ready, they'll come out, right? But they're still definitely attracted to you with the high priestess energy. Sagittarius, the Hierophant, all right, so there's definitely room for commitment here. They may be focusing on trying to figure out uh, their own their own answers, you know, about what they want with this connection. But you do have the Hierophant here, which shows that they're pondering or thinking about if you guys will fit together nicely. Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles. So you and a Capricorn could be um, walking into a new energy of building something together, all right? You both may be seeing... Um, potential in one another. Aquarius, king of cups, right? The muse here, the muse of emotions. Aquarius, this is about you feeling into and trusting your feelings. You know exactly where you want, what you're desiring and what you're trying to create in your life. All right. This is about trusting your feelings when it comes to another Aquarian, but also having patience and being calm and just going with the flow. Pisces, all right, five of wands, you and a Pisces are going to kill each other with drama you can be competitive right um can't seem to uh, you know find common ground right the fives are always about a change and you know there could be an end to this conflict but somebody's got to give got to give a little you know and just instead of trying to 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 win you know what i mean but there can also be a lot of passion between you and Pi um, pisces as well too so you can turn that around because that energy can be very passionate and you know that kiss and make up make up thing. All right. Let's see. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. Thank you for your question. Yes. Ace of swords. All right. The truth, the justice, do, you know, um, making amends fair and square and somebody hearing you out this week or you hearing somebody out this week. So the answer is yes. Happy birthday. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Take care.